Carmina? Yes. La Carmina, hi, there. nice to meet you. My name is La Carmina and I am a relocator. Everyone has different needs, so I really want to show Mary and Markham all the different sides of Tokyo and find a balance that works for them. I like it. Some families do have a car, but no matter what, when you come to Tokyo, you're going to have to downsize. But that doesn't mean you have to give up all these great things. The Japanese are genius at taking limited resources and just turning it into this beautiful and functional experience. If we are going to live in Japan, I want the boys to learn the language. What are the options? Most families I know from an English-speaking country, they put their kids in what are called international national schools. They immerse you in the Japanese language, but they also teach you in English. When you're young, when you're 10 and 12, you're going to pick it up just like that. Right. Now, this is where an upper middle class family would live. I'm taking Mary and Markham to a property. It's a million dollar listing, urban living, really central. As I'm going through this property with them, I get the sense that they like it a lot. There is space for the kids and for them to have some privacy. I can tell that's important to them. Right now, the entire family sleeps in here. Okay. Okay. Mom and dad sleep there, and they share the room with their young children. And so everyone sleeps together? Yeah. Mary and Markham are dog people, and if they're moving to Tokyo, they're going to have to find places for their dogs to enjoy. So I'm going to take them to a dog cafe. It's an only in Japan type experience. They share a meal with their dog. I can't wait to see how they react to that. So this is all dog treats? This is food that you can share with your dog. Oh, that's hilarious. Hi. Hey, you made it. What's this place? It's an onsen. onsen? Any idea? Onsen? No. It's a traditional Japanese spa. So as you can see, Japan is often really hectic, and a lot of families like to get away by going to hot springs. It's a very Japanese family activity. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Thank okay, you. So check it out. I'm so passionate about Tokyo culture, traditions, lifestyle, and I want to convey that to them and encourage them to move. This is another residential neighborhood, but quite a different feeling. Yes. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're really far outside of the city. Yeah. Even though it's residential and calm, it's only a few right. subway stops away from Shinjuku and other major areas. So I have a fun activity planned for us today. It's something that I feel like would really help you out because I know you're going to be Mr. Mom. Mm -hmm. It is a bento box uh -huh. cooking okay. class. Nice. Yeah. A bento box is a traditional Japanese lunch and all the food is placed in these little compartments. When your kids bring the lunch to school, everybody brings a bento box and it's cutely decorated. That way it helps them fit in and right. it also it's a nice way for parents to show affection for their children. But I mean, do teenage boys take bento boxes? Oh yeah, here it's very different, the culture. Things that I want you to have another very Tokyo experience. I hear a lot of yelling and... There's a lot of screaming. <laughs> <laughs> this is the final day in Japan. Mary said that their boys are into sports, so I thought it would be nice to introduce them to a traditional sport. I wanted you to experience kendo. It is a martial art. It's sword fighting. Sword? Oh, mm -hmm. neat. That's fun. So it's been quite the three days. We had so much fun and we did get to see a lot. Well, I know you have a lot to think about and a hard decision to make, so that's why I brought you here. This is Akasaka Temple. It's one of the most famous in Japan, and rightly so. It's so gorgeous. It's beautiful. And a lot of people, when there's their big decisions, like moving, they'll come here. Are we allowed to go inside the temple? Yes. In fact, I actually may say farewell to you here. You've been very helpful. We really appreciate it. I don't know what we would have done well, without yeah. your guidance. We wouldn't have had a true Tokyo experience without you. So whatever you decide, I know it'll be the right decision for you. Thank you. Thank you. I did my best to show Mary and Markham why I love Tokyo and why it would be a great fit for them. I can't wait to hear their final decision. We have such a good life in Scottsdale.